Hey there, guys. I'm Michael. So this one's a little different because he, uh, this is still ongoing, right? Right. Ten years in development, he says, in the making, really. Ten? Ten. He's, he's open, he's open about the fact that he's using RPG Maker, but he wants 12,000 Canadian dollars for it. Pay attention. Now, just as a disclaimer, all footage in this video is taken from previous releases or previous builds of the okay. game. Okay, so far there's nothing generic about this RPG, unlike all the other <laughs> ones on Kickstarter. No. Endless Fantasy Saga is the RPG we've all been waiting for, more or less. That's what I've heard. Notice, too, the main character is named Fighter. And that's not, by the way, a placeholder name. Oh, Epic Battle Simmatics. Epic Battle Cinemas, in this scene that you're seeing... Oh, that's, cinem that's cinematic, all right. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the engines got damaged, so the airship is... So that guy's named after his class, and that other guy's just named Dokken? Craziness. Yes, but there is a backstory. Before you crash! Uh-oh. Dokken! Dokken! Oh, there's voice acting, too. Good. <laughs> Can I take money away from the Kickstarter? All right. So, I don't like that front view. Well, it's not unique if it's a FFF 13 style battle screen. <laughs> no one else is doing I this. I really like the Final Fantasy 13 look that we're going with here. Yeah, it looks just like it. Oh, screw you, chemist. Whether we have three or four party members. Wait, did, did they get Star Trek beamed up for a second there? <laughs> no, these are, these are awesome spells. As you can see, we have HP being removed. Or, wait, what? Hot ass. Is this... Wait, hot ass? Oh, dear. This'll get the money in. This certainly is not pissy boss time anymore. What did that mean exactly? That's the easy way to win this battle. If you take. We don't need a strategy guide for your game that doesn't exist yet. <laughs> Game fact is already being started. Wet spot? Wait, the hot ass and wet spot? Seriously? These are the summons? They're cousins. It's a family oh. reunion. Oh. This game, which are playable characters, you can also level them up. <laughs> don't don't summon frigid though. Can, I hate her. You can level up and have her evolve into hot butt ass. See, it's, it's like Pokemon with really uh, awkward you names. Hit enough, or you've retracted them. You've brought. Oh, you're doing back. terrible, right? <laughs> Is that his party let's, or the enemy party that died? Let's just let's just cut away here. Okay, look at the font, even. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a blue gradient menu system. Yeah, I never quite saw that. Also, anime. Few things right, and although the design will probably change by the end of development. I think this was a pretty end of development. He seems optimistic, and I would be too. He's got a few days left to go on this, and has raised into three hundred whole dollars out of the twelve thousand he needs. There's twenty six days to go. I think. <laughs> oh, and there's nudity too, apparently. Wait, what? Transcending everlasting time. Hang on, the, the Echo Six O Seven. Wait, what did this part? Did he screw Endless up the video? Endless Fantasy Eternity. I'm combining different RPG franchises here. <laughs> There's there's song sequences too, which is really good. And wow, Echo Six O Seven's work this is was the amount of effort that went into <laughs> um, <laughs> the early. Pretty amazing. Now Aaron has a backstory to her too, by the way. Oh, it's not just a name he picked randomly. Patrons like you, just what Endless Fantasy can actually become. I noticed there's one guy and a lot of female team members. I would like it to end instead of being endless. Uh, when you get the right people in the right places. Uh, Ned Fighter, our main character fantastic. again. I can't stress that enough. Um, I can't stress enough, it'll be fantastic. In addition to mm. side quests, we are having You're reading this quest. compelling dialogue at the bottom? Or these compelling lyrics, rather? Literally oh. <laughs> affect stuff later in the game. <gasps> Wait, uh, cause and effect <laughs> things in the game? By the way, they can fly. <laughs> a merchant who's got a damaged cart being robbed by bandits. It's uh, really hard to see what you're doing here with this cracked effect. I think he broke his game. <laughs> Are they skydiving? What's an after school special now? Sell stuff. He may give you a deal because you got all his inventory stuff, or he may charge you double price. I I have the feeling he just did this speech and then tried to make a video that matched the length. Stand out among all of the other games we've ever played. Yeah. At least in the indie department. So thank you guys at Kickstarter for your support. We look forward 
to going forward. Who's we in this, by the way? Endless gaming. By awesome and amazing oh. people like you. So until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, thank you. Why does this have like five more seconds to go? Okay. Do you want to read the origin of this or shall I? Uh, sure, I'll give it a go. All right. So let's give you a sense of the inspiration behind this game. Over 10 years ago, I was going through a bit of a depression and fell into an addiction. Oh, no. An addiction of online gaming. Uh oh. The game wasn't very powerful or fast paced and really kind of boring. Why were you addicted to it? <laughs> but it allowed me to escape the world for a while. Just a while. Oh. One day but while you... playing, I was about ready to exit the game, so as usual, I walked down to the newbie area so my character could go sleep. I had no intention of returning to the game, but then a character in a hula skirt killing goats walked what? up to me. A character in a hula skirt killing goats walked up to me, smiled her emote con, and asked, are you okay? I insulted her rudely and left the game. Uh-oh. Her words I... stuck with me, though. Are you okay? Those she words? asked. And I wasn't. I logged in the next day, and sure enough, the girl character was back there killing goats in her hula skirt. She walked up to me again and asked, Are you okay? I, please God, let this be an NPC. As the months and years passed, we became friends online. <laughs> well, that's all she ever said to him, though. Are you okay? <laughs> it's like a chat bot, and he never realized it. I'm doing great. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Okay, you got me. And you you know up. me so well. <laughs> She's actually looking for her friend named OK. <laughs> um, so as the months and years passed, we became friends online, and that friendship passed into the real world. Oh, boy. The character was named Aaron, spelled E-R-Y-N-N, -N, mm -hmm. and my character was named Fighter, <laughs> and, it <would> become a <laughs> uh, and it would become a love story of sorts that would extend across platforms, realities, times, and dimensions. So really, this is a $12,000 missed connection, more or less. Yes. One day, however, near the end of the game, uh, near the end of the online game's lifespan, Aaron wasn't feeling well, so we decided just to sit around an online campfire and talk for a few hours. <laughs> God. Oh, no. Her, wow. Her words stick with <laughs> me to this day. <laughs> Fighter, she said in her <laughs> loving voice. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> Fighter, she said in her loving voice, tell me a story. Her one request was to have me tell her a story. And oh, to know if you were God. okay. <laughs> and that was the birth of endless fantasy. Off the seat of my pants, I told her a story of the origin of Fighter and Aaron, the fall of Aeon, who's Aeon? The evil wizard <laughs> Vorch, who would come to destroy the world. And she loved it. We're sure she's not a chatbot. Wow. And that this is it. You can have the online MMO romance complete for only twelve grand. Mm hmm. Wow. Good luck, endless gaming. Uh. uh. <laughs>